some assembly may be required. You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. <laughs> Enjoy. <laughs> I guess that looks fine. Whoa, yes, we're back. Um, it's been a, a year almost, I guess, since uh, the Dr. Pepper Diner series, but we're back. And this calls for celebration. So, you know, why not grab the good old Jason goblet that I have for almost a year already. A year? It's been so long. And of course, good old Dr. Pepper. So. We're back, reopened, Dr. Pepper Diner. Cheers to that. For some reason, most of the time I drink out of the can, you know? Um, for some reason it tastes even better in a Jason Goblet. <laughs> Not sure if it's just a Jason Goblet or um, also in uh, a normal glass, but it tastes better. Today we're covering Frankenhooker. I ordered this, uh, Arrow video release quite a while ago, like a few weeks ago, and uh, got it yesterday. I instantly checked it out, and it is a great film, I can tell you. So yeah, let's start it off by reading the synopsis. It's been a while since I've said that, but uh, here we go again. A medical stu student sets out to recreate his decapitated fiance by building her a new body made of Manhattan Street prostitutes. Um, really love the concept there. It's a very great concept, and this is like a movie that basically has two different things, you know? It has two simple cliche concepts, and combines them, which then turns them into something really creative and new. You got Frankenstein, which is a cliche, a hooker, which, I, I mean, it's cliche in, in, in the sense that, like, you got movies like Maniac, you know? Uh, you already had that, so, but then you combine them, uh, and then it turns into something completely different from what you've seen before. And I love that so much. I, I love when a movie, when you just read the title and go, how did they come up with this, you know? Wow. How did they ever think of the combination of a Frankenstein and a hooker together, you know? And that's exactly what went through my mind when I first found out about this movie quite a while ago. And it's been on my watch list for a long time, and I finally got to see it, and I loved it. I really love it. I'm gonna have to rewatch it, but it might actually be in my top 25 movies of all time. It was that good. I uh, really like the premise. It's really uh, low budget, and yet still looks awesome. This movie is directed by Frank Henelotter, which actually sounds kind of Dutch. <laughs> he didn't really do anything else. Uh, anything, anything else big in horror. Uh, community except for basket case and brain damage uh, I guess basket case basket cage <laughs> basket case especially is a really popular horror movie in the horror community which I've not seen yet but especially now that I've seen this movie I really want to check it out uh, but besides basket case Frank Knocker and brain damage he didn't really do anything else like this I really love the main character he's kind of kind of goofy you know uh, which is actually quite funny He's called Jeffrey, uh, Jeffrey the Jersey Boy, which the Jersey Boy, <laughs> that reminded me of Ron, you know? Uh, nah, and I kinda, kinda, this character reminds me of Ron too, so, Ron, I know you're watching this, I could actually imagine you doing this as well, if your fiance would die in, in a, a lawn crash caused by you, because you made the lawn, <laughs> I could totally imagine you doing the same thing, so, don't take it personal. The body parts? look really weird uh, like all of the time you can totally tell that it's it's not flesh but it's like actual plastic so like if you touch it you you know like the arm would be dead but it would be this like this the whole time you know it'd be holding it and it wouldn't be like this you know no, it would just be if he was shaking it then would just stand still um, which that that's honestly the only thing that really made it look like a low-budget film uh, gotta, you gotta thank the remaster by Aero Video as well, uh, because it's, it looks like a, that makes it definitely, that definitely makes it look 
more modern and high budget as well. You got a refill here. There's also this one guy called Zorro, and he's so over the top. And actually, I, I, I'm going to look him up because I think he must be some sort of wrestler as well. Like, the way he acted just reminded me of a wrestler. And, of course, his, his body, you know, reminded me of a wrestler as well. I can't really find anything about him being a wrestler. So, I guess he's he's not really a wrestler. Uh, I mean, he might be, but very, very small. Not a big name in the wrestling community, I guess. But yeah, he's so over the top. Like, <laughs> at one point, he's waiting for uh, his hookers to arrive, to return. Uh, and he's the... <laughs> and there's, like, this, this secretary kind of dude. And he's just like, I'm waiting for my bitches, you know, and he's always standing like this and, <laughs> and being all big and stuff. And I freaking love that. He's, he's probably besides Jeffrey, uh, you know, the Frank and Oakra herself. He's probably my favorite character. He's, he's awesome. I really loved him. The fact that he's my third favorite character and I loved him so much is saying a lot about the characters in this film because I love them all. There's a ton of nudity in it. And if you love nudity and horror, you love Frank and Hooker. The, really, the only way you can summarize the vibe of this film is Maniac combined with uh, Frankenstein with uh, vibes and music and the style of Return of the Living Dead. So Maniac plus Frankenstein plus Return of the Living Dead equals Frankenhooker. That's really the only way you can describe it. Really that's all I gotta say about Frankenhooker and uh, I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10 Dr. Peppers. Really the only thing that really uh, distracted me from the film were the, the fake looking arms because they're in the film so many times and, and at first it was kind of funny but in the end it's kind of distracting you from the film and you're just like oh it's so fake. <laughs> like at some points it even it even drop, it drops like a hand on the floor you can just hear plastic hitting the floor you know. But besides that I freaking love this film it's definitely one of my favorites already. I'm gonna take two rewatches to uh, decide if it's actually like in my top 25 or uh, in my top 50 or something like that. Uh, but yeah, Frank and Hooker. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. That's all I gotta say. See you guys. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's not